faculty center ay isang sibulo ng, ng democratic space at pagpapantay-pantay ng mga tao. Regardless of whether may PhD ka man o wala, whether ikaw ay manggagawa. Isa sa napakasaya kong memory ay ang guest speaker namin dito nung ako ay nag-graduate sa MA ko sa Comparative Literature ay si National Artist Napoleon Abueva. At meron ako isang larawan na kasama ko si Rogelio Sikat na ngayon na mayapa na, na isang legendary short story writer na miyembro ng Agos sa Disyerto noong 1960s, group of experimental young Filipino writers. Tapos si, si national artist Napoleon Abueva na, na, na mayapa na rin. Tapos may larawan ako kasama sila na bata pa akong instructor noon. Uh, hindi ko malilimutan yung mga pagkakataon na all of a sudden, may oportunidad ka para ma-meet itong mga taong ina-admire mo lang from afar. Ang Faculty Center Conference Hall ay napakahalaga sapagkat isa itong open space para sa lahat, whether you're left, right, or center, pantay-pantay kayo yung nagpapalitan ng mga kuro-kuro tungkol sa mga issue. Uh, napaka-legendary ng Faculty Center Conference Hall sapagkat kung ikaw man ay mag-aaral o alumnus ka man o hindi ng university, Kahit nung panahon ng martial law, isa tong democratic space kung saan ang mga tao nung mga panahon na ay, ay malayang nagsasalita kung anong gusto nila sabihin tungkol sa mga bagay-bagay. Walang censorship at hindi sila hinuhuli. It was a place to bring people together. And here I wanted to move beyond, uh, beyond the grand academic experience, which was important. I'm sure the others will talk about one of the things that really got me was in times of great trial and tribulation, the FC somehow caught sunsets very well. The sunsets there. Eh? So there was, you, you could go to the oblation, you get the full force of the sunset, but it was hot. Eh? Here, you, you could see the splendor. UP Diliman became orange in color eh? at certain time of the day. You would catch that orange hue here. Uh, and to so different. And then, of course, there was the Claro M. Recto Hall or room, the auditorium, uh, which became really crucial in under martial law because it represented everything we were fighting for in terms not just of academic freedom, but of freedom for the country. There was an assurance that you would never be touched there, even before UP was off limits to the military. There is a tacit understanding that you could not raid, you could not uh, cut short any of the things that were going on in Claro M. Recto. It was sacred space. So it is not just the soul of the faculty center, but the soul of UP Diliman. The memories of the faculty center were all very positive. We could meet in the corridor, discuss. Sanabi ng isang faculty na kilala ko, a very close friend of mine, was that we could talk about anything in the corridor. Hindi kailangan sa faculty room, pero sa corridor. We could ask questions at any time on any subject and magdi-discussion doon. Sometimes there would be debates, sometimes there would be arguments, but it was always usually based on intellectual ability. It was a center, it was a focal point siguro of academic discussion. Yung maganda sa Lumang Faculty Center when I was there in the beginning was hindi siya divided into the sciences or the arts or the social sciences. It was all under one roof. Natatandaan ko yung FC, ang pinakamahalaga sa akin, yung corridors niya. Kapag nagsasalubong yung mga professors at saka mga estudyante, hihinto yan eh, mag-uusap, magkukumustahan. Yung kumusta as a gen general question, hindi lang siya kamusta ng, kamusta ka ng araw na yon o kamusta ka kahapon. Kundi kamusta, ano yung ginagawa mo, ano yung pinag-aaralan mo. So yung sagot doon, minsan nagbubunga siya na mas marami pang mga idea. Of course, on the part ng College of Arts and Letters, no, wala, pa rin, wala pa rin bahay ang mga faculty ng College of Arts and Letters. Ninanais na magkaroon ng ganong klase pa rin na mga opisina na magsusulong pa rin ng corridor talks. Di ba? Kung saan meron kang espasyo na maalam mo on, in that given week makikita mo itong mga tao na to and you could easily knock on their doors ask a simple question but the answers are so profound that you would, di ba? It would feed papers, it would feed creative projects, it would feed 
extension services na mga projects out there no the, the faculty center was always more than a physical office or even a home for us away from home it was the cradle of our spirit of academic freedom and academic inquiry it was the bastion of our resistance to tyranny not just the tyranny of of bad politicians and leaders but the tyranny of of ignorance and stupidity if you will importante para sa akin yung claro emrecto um ito yung dito sinasala yung mga ideya na na bago pa maisa libro naging tahanan ko to ng may git 10 taon dahil 10 taon na kong undergrad kahit nung panahon na hindi ako nag-aaral eh tambay ako ng mga kwarto ng mga professor ko isang 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 magandang alaala yon na kahit hindi ka estudyante sa mga panahon na yon very welcoming pa rin ang faculty center ang faculty center ay isang isang miniature na larangan ng digmaan ng mga ideya yung mga everyday life everyday life kasi sa faculty center ay bawat silid may kasaysayan, bawat natatanging pulong, uh, silid pulungan ay may kasaysayan, bawat sulok kung nasa ng mga muning ay may kasaysayan din, pati dingding dahil ginawang gallery yan ni na Professor Nieves Epistola. Ang faculty center po, kahit po ang bawat kwarto maliliit, pero ang laman ng faculty center, masasaya, masasaya ang tao sa loob. Marami ring naiambag sa amin yung mga faculty sa mga staff. Marami kaming natutunan sa faculty. Pumasok po kami ng payat, lumabas po kami ng faculty ng mataba. Sobrang saya po sa faculty center. Student ako ng Department of Speech, Communication and Theater Arts. Sinanap ko yung department namin. Apparently, nasa third floor siya. Tapos medyo nakakatakot kasi madilim talaga yung hallways. Na parang wala masyadong tao. Pero nandun din yung homey feels niya na parang at the same time, pagkatapak mo sa faculty center, komportable ka sa paglakad mo, sa kung sino man makasalubong mo, alam mong safe ka at meron kang mapagpapahingahan at pupuntahan. Yung importansya rin mismo siguro ng faculty center is the history that it has. Uh, the faculty center has been with the UP for years na kapag kunwari graduate ka, meron ka sanang mababalikan. Nandito ako sa FC nang mawala ito. Mga alas dos ng umaga, may nakuha akong message mula sa isang kaibigan na nasusunog daw ang FC. Kaya dito ako, nakatira din lang sa campus, tumakbo ako dito. At uh, nakatayo ako sa labas ng aking opisina. Pinapanood kong natutupok. Uh, hindi lamang opisina ko, kundi yung buong, yung buong gusali. Ano? Sa kabila ng napakaraming mga bumberong dumating dito. At uh, alam ko nung oras na yon na wala nang magagawa para sagipin pa ang, ang gusalin mismo ng FC. Makaraan ng ilang araw, humingi ako ng permiso upang pasukin ang, ang sunog na building at uh, naisipan kong kumuha ng video ng aking mga nadadaan ng mga pasilyo. At dinalaw ko ang opisina ko at nakita ko na tupok na ang lahat. Uh, ang aking mga aklat, 30 taon ng, ng alaala, ang biglang naglaho. When I saw it burning, I, I came here very early in the morning of that, of that day, April 1. Kita ko na susunog yung FC. And hindi ko alam na may sunog na. But uh, actually, pagdating ko dito, ang daming mga fire trucks, ang daming uh, traffic dito sa area sa likod ng FC, yun pala nasusunog yung FC. And I thought vainly na sana na-spare yung history department. Pero in the end, umikot ako, talagang wala. And when we first went inside the building, kita namin yung mga ruins, uh, there was nothing we could recover. Nakikita lang namin yung mga abo ng mga libro, ng mga papeles. I could still identify some of them in my room, pero talagang hindi na ma-recover. So, yung 
secretary ng department namin, naka-recover siya ng mga pictures. So she was very excited about that. Other faculty members were able to recover mga clay pottery and others na hindi naman nasunog. But it, for us, it was really a total loss. My personal wish for the new FC is that within it, we establish a true university museum that will house the physical artifacts and turn our memories into a coherent narrative that will tell all UP students and faculty members and our visitors the story of this great university. And I think that's something that the new FC can have that the old one did not. Uh, but I'm sure, despite the loss of so many in incredibly valuable objects, and maybe even of some memories, there will be time to create new ones. Sa muling pagtatayo sa Faculty Center, sabayan tayong gumugunita at tumatanaw sa hinaharap. Gumugunita dahil bilang komunidad, lahat tayo'y apektado sa biglaan itong pagkasunog. Ngunit ngayon, kailangan din nating tumanaw bilang komunidad sa muling pagkabuhay nito. Ang itatayong Faculty Center ay magsisilbing lunan at muog ng akademikong diskurso, talastasan at pagdadaupang palad sa ating komunidad. Sama-sama nating buuin ang diwa at katauhan ng Faculty Center na siyang bahagi na ng buhay UP at ng ating nagdaan at hinaharap.